I mean, I really have felt uh, many of those things that you've said. Um, and I've felt at times, you know, when, when I lost two Olympic gold medals, and, and for me, it was losing two Olympic gold medals, not winning two silvers. And I was bereft, you know, I was very uh, down for a long time. It's something that I had nightmares about uh, because I did, just didn't quite achieve everything that I wanted to achieve. I was world champion, European champion, and two Olympic silver medals, two different categories, but it wasn't enough. And, and, uh, and uh, I knew that I could do better. So that was one thing, how to cope with that. And the other thing was uh, when I was not performing as well, you know, when my level started to go down or when I became, um, I had to face the possibility that I had to finish competition and competitive judo, which was very difficult for me. And I know it's very, very difficult for a lot of uh, fighters because they have this amazing life where they do some amazing things. They travel to amazing places and they have uh, success, which puts them on top of the world. And then all of a sudden it stops and you have to reconsider your direction in life and what else you're going to do, what you're going to do to make money, how you fit into normal society. And I think that that is a shock. And it's one of the main reasons that many fighters uh, put off their, their retirement. You know, they carry on one year, two years, three years, sometimes four years too long, uh, but it's not too long for them. But you know, it's, there's nothing worse than not performing at your best. Hi, this is Shady. Today, I want to discuss something that extends beyond the mats. And that is something that is invisible. And a lot of people choose to shy away from. And it is for both the competitor and those who seek self-defense skills. So when it comes to the competitor, it's very obvious. And a lot of people know about this that after you finish a long career of competing, you have this uh, loss of sense of purpose and identity. And uh, you were at the top and now you are, you know, walking amongst mortals and you yourself are a mortal. And uh, of course, nobody wants to be Superman and go back to Clark Kent, you know, not even for a day and uh, and I understand a lot of people would go through a lot of, you know, pain and agony and suffer a lot. A lot of people became suicidal. I know people who competed in multiple Olympic games and they told me you know, they had crippling depression and they were even suicidal. And a lot of people, unfortunately, even lost their lives. And let me tell you something, as hard as it may be or as it may look, Every day is a chance to recreate yourself. You know, I don't, I don't like the term, you know, find yourself because it doesn't exist. You create yourself and you can always do something new. You can always learn something. You can always use whatever knowledge you have to do something for others and yourself. I'll give you a few examples. Uh, Kaori Matsumoto, she was an Olympic medalist, um, countless titles one of the best in her category. When she retired, she became a family woman, a mother, and also she started her or founded her own uh, ice cream shop, which as silly as it may sound, but you know, when you're at this stage in your life, it's very important to, to really calm down and enjoy the little things that give you pleasure, like, like ice cream or making ice cream or, uh, serving others ice cream. And of course, I'm sure her being a mother, you know, being there for her children gives her a lot of sense of fulfillment. Um, another example, Inoue Kose, um, he has four children and he discovered that he loves to cook because he wants to uh, make meals for his family. Again, he didn't know that prior. So um, it's very important to immerse yourself in giving back 
after that period of competing and really being on top of the world because you know, nothing will give you uh, a sense of fulfillment like competing unless you know it's time to give back and that's very important and um, let me talk to you about my experience so I was an architect a few years back I graduated from the best school in France and I would even argue Europe and I had a great job and I, I had plans to buy a house and get married have the little suburban life and train judo uh, on the evening so uh, all of a sudden I lose my job I realize how little control I have in this world um, the woman I was with for years with plans to get married gone all this happened in a very short period of time and I found myself in a very 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 dark place and that's when I decided to start my channel so again if it wasn't for that I wouldn't have started this channel which I am very proud of now granted financially it's nowhere near my old job nowhere near but the, the fulfillment to having this name in judo even though starting super late in life uh, talking with the best people in the world and you know working so hard and researching and finding really what you love and really going with it there's no better feeling uh, at my job yes it paid well but I was very bored I'm just gonna be very honest I was very bored and also my academic achievements were simply you know due to parental pressure family pressure etc I'm very proud of them regardless but um, it was not you know the life I had envisioned you know once I finished studied studying but um, I had to recreate myself from scratch and that was very important and you know if it wasn't for that I wouldn't have learned uh, all that I know now from judo and the history I wouldn't have learned a new language I wouldn't have traveled to Japan to you know fight for my black belt and live there for six months and really just really had this something that I did not do when I was younger because all I was worried about was my studies and if, if I didn't have school I would just go to work and now I got to live life again and do something else and recreate myself and add skills and also I've done stuff like you know authoring a book and publishing it um, art expos just so many things you know I escaped the one-dimensional life of being an office architect and uh, I'm very proud of that and it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't you know for that event and uh, I really want you to you know pay attention to what you can do and realize how much you can give back once you reach that point of you know I cannot go on or I I'm just in a very dark place who am I what purpose do I have you have a lot of purpose and every day is a new chance to recreate yourself from nothing like I did you know who who was I when I started making these videos nobody and I'm very proud of what I've done in the past four years and it's really truly something and just like Neil Adams I still have nightmares about you know uh, being back in high school I have to do the senior year or or worse sometimes I have these nightmares where I am in front of a jury in college and it's the day where you present your project you have the model you have the plans and the elevations and the perspectives all printed out and they call my name and I have absolutely nothing with me on the day of the jury so I still have these nightmares and and that's fine but uh, you always remind yourself hey look how far I've come and the, the skills I've acquired and you know just the ability to give back and that's also very important so um, now for those who seek uh, self-defense purposes when training um, it's a very small thing but you have to be really careful of because it's a very uh, poisonous uh, a lot of people will tell you yeah I got bullied I was attacked and you know it's something that's very traumatizing and it stays with you and it's for sure especially if it's bullying for years and years middle school all the way to high school senior year you know something that happened to you for years 
it's gonna stick with you for decades and it's important to step back sometime what do i mean sometimes you train so much and all you think about is self-defense and you kind of relive those experiences every day in order to solve them and you know what would i have done if this happened again etc but this is not good for you you're simply reliving the past and that's very unhealthy and you're reliving the trauma and for those people i would say take a step back even go compete yes now we have competitions for all ages and all categories so take a step back compete you know uh, schedule a competition i would say a month or two months from the point you start so you can actually focus on it really smoothly transition into it you know when you go into training your your goal is to strategize because you're going to compete it's short-term goal it's healthy it's fun and then when it's finished you probably realize hey you know you have something else to think about and you kind of step back from this you know spiraling unhealthy way of reliving the past so if you have something to add let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening